Hi guys, welcome back to yet a, another video. Um, before I go out to ride, I thought I'd show you my new jacket I got off Vinted. Yeah, got a Honda jacket here. Um, got it off Vinted. I think I paid around 20 quid for it, I think, which is well good. It's got the, all the arm protection and things like that. Um, got a Honda down on this sleeve and then on this sleeve as well. I think it's really cool. Um, different color as well. So it's gone out, I've gone for like a gray, white, black. I think it's really cool. Um, I can't wait to get out and ride with it on. It feels a little bit shorter than my um, my other one. Anyway, let's get out on the road. What's going on, guys? I am back with another video. Oh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been out on my motorbike. Couldn't get out last weekend because it was raining. Um, and then the Sunday, I went go karting. Tried to record for that, but um, the the camera. The microphone setup I had um, set up just didn't work, so it recorded absolutely nothing. So instead of just recording what the GoPro here is or my mic, it done neither. So I had absolutely nothing. Yeah, so uh, I had absolutely nothing. It was just footage of me going around uh, the go-kart track which I mean it was good um, I wish there was uh, some audio with it because the audio was uh, was the part that made the uh, the video to be honest not the, the actual footage I mean the footage was good but I've um, ordered I ordered a road microphone adapter for the uh, for the GoPro media mod because the, the one that came with the purple panda wasn't recording my voice every time I uh, click record on my GoPro I had, to, I had to keep checking it back on my on my phone to see whether my voice has been recorded or not which if I'm honest with you it's a massive pain in the backside um, keep having to check my my phone because you can connect to the to the GoPro through my phone um, that was just, it's just a pain in the backside really um, I'm hoping the uh, the angle is good um, I think it is I think I've got a, a good angle so hopefully you'll be able to hear me a lot more clearer and I won't have to have footage where I'm uh, just riding around and not talking. Hopefully this has sorted my microphone issue out. I mean, other than the, the issue I've had before, the Purple Panda mic is absolutely brilliant. Like, I absolutely love it. I've got no faults, uh, or nothing bad to say about it, to be honest. It's a brilliant microphone. I almost today put on my summer gloves. It said 10 degrees. And then it said it feels like seven because of the wind. So I thought I'm not going to risk it going out my summer gloves and having cold hands after 20 minutes of riding. So I thought I'd just stick to stick to my winter gear. But we are getting into that that weather where it's like, how do you dress for riding? Do you go full full winter mode or do you? Do you go summer mode because there's not not really much of an in between sorry unless you've got heated gloves and uh things like that then uh and heated grips there's there's well you could go down the lines of heated vests and jackets and things like that but i i really don't need that i don't i, I don't exactly ride this in the morning to to work or anything like that so i don't, I don't need uh i don't need that it's a bit overkill for me to be honest enjoying the nice weather we've got this weekend yesterday was oh yesterday was lovely um, yesterday was absolutely lovely uh, I spent most of it inside getting some uh, stuff in the, the house and garden sorted um, I would have loved to have gone out for a ride yesterday but if I didn't do it then I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have done it So, uh, 
it. Glad I got all that done. As you can see from uh, the other perspective, I've got a new jacket on. Uh, I got this from Vinted. As I said in the beginning of the video, uh, picked up for about, I think it was about 20 pounds, which it's actually really really good um, I've been looking at other jackets as well I, I, I want to have more of an option uh, when it comes to riding I don't want to just have the same one all the time I'd like to just change it up a little bit exactly the same as having uh, normal clothes I guess mixing it up and uh, and having different things to wear I thought they were going to go then. I thought they were going to come for the overtake as well, not going to lie. Don't underestimate the CB125F. She may look slow, but she's definitely not. <laughs> Oh, I love this bike. Like, I'm very excited to get my license and get a bigger bike, like which is obviously a hell of a lot quicker. But as far as beginner bikes go, this is a brilliant bike. I love it. I want to try and get as many miles as possible under this, really, to get it in for its first service, which is at 600 miles. But I might get it booked in at 500. Because uh, if I'm only using the bike at the weekends or whatever. Um, I'm not going to be putting mega miles on it. Uh, I mean, I've got 115 so far since I got it. Um, I'm not sure if that's... All of them are, are me, but... I, I know for a fact 100... And, I'd say 112, 113 are definitely me. The other two might just be uh, delivery miles. Uh, which, which every car or motorbike has, really. I got a nod. That's my first ever nod, I think. I think he nodded, unless he twitched. Who knows? <laughs> I hope he nodded. <laughs> uh, oh, talking of nods, actually, I, uh, there's a guy uh, that lives on my uh, around my area. He's got a motorbike as well. And uh, I got back from a ride a few weeks ago. And uh, he, he, I believe he was just going out for a ride or just got back. And uh, he... Uh, Put his, put his hand up and uh, waved down to me, which I thought was quite nice. That I've never spoken to him before, but considering he's uh, put his hand out and waved to me, I thought it was really, really, really nice to be fair. This is uh, the furthest I've gone out of my town on my bike, other than riding it back from buying it. Um, I'm about to head up to a dual carriageway, which I think it'll be my first time on one. So I, I think I might turn off when we get a bit halfway down. Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't, I haven't really quite decided on where, where I'm riding to. <laughs> I'm just going out for a ride and enjoying it, uh, which is always just, just, just something nice to do, isn't it? It's a bit windy, I can feel the wind a bit more today. Definitely feel it a lot more. I'll tell you what, I've, I've paid more attention to people like that pulling out. Now I've got a bike than before when I, when I just drive my car or work van. It's amazing, really, that how much more attention you pay to things like that. Uh, you, being a just a car driver beforehand and not a motorcyclist, you'd, you'd I mean you, you should obviously check and be cautious. But I've done, I've definitely got more cautious as I've started to ride a motorbike. Um, I, I, again, I'm, I'm not sure that that's because I'm new at riding a motorbike or. I feel more, more vulnerable being on a bike than in a car. I think I'll probably go with that, to be honest. Feeling more vulnerable. I'm obviously in a car, on a bike, a lot smaller um, to see. Let's go right here. 
I like this, it's like a little slip road, you don't really need to uh, Sometimes you have to sit and wait for the people there, but I'd say nine times out of ten, just straight in. Depends how busy it is, really. The engine braking on this is unreal. Uh, you get a little little bit of engine braking in cars, but with this, you if I let go of the throttle now, I've got no one behind me, so I'm okay. Look, let go of the throttle. How quick the speed dips down. And you can feel it on the bike as well, like how much it um, dips down. That's what I like about it, so you can just let go of the throttle and brake as well. I will be doing a video um, in the future, in the near future, about uh, getting a, a U-turn done, uh, turning the road. Um, I might try so I can get some cones to do some of the, the weaving as well. Um, need to go and need to use second gear and use a lot of clutch control for that so um, I'll probably find like an empty car park somewhere oh what a lovely ride no destination just being able to get out and ride is actually beautiful stick out wide here because there's a corner there a turning sorry don't want uh, anyone pulling out on me if they couldn't see me hiding behind their cars so I was coming down that road so as you saw at the start of the video I was very dubious and worried about this jacket being being too small I thought it was a female jacket but I'm now convinced it's not and I'm just being over dramatic so I put it on and if I raise, raise my arms up, it comes up like with my body, which obviously is, is normal because it's not going to just stay in the same place. It wasn't until I've Googled and have a look at other motorbike jackets that I've seen the leather ones are, are quite low, like low fitting, high fitting. They, they're not as good as my, uh, my Risha jacket that I've got. Um, the one that's like pretty, pretty long. Um, I guess because I've had that first, that's what I feel as my, like, as a standard size motorbike jacket. Um, but actually, this jacket I've got on here is actually super, super comfy. Super comfy. It's a nice colour. I love the colour. It's nice to have a different colour instead of just all black. And the fact that it has Honda written all over it as well. When I'm on a Honda, it's just like... The icing on the cake. It's brilliant. I love it. This is a bit I need to be careful about as well, just in case there's anyone trying to nip through from left to right or right to left. I always worry about that if I want to come through on a car that someone's just going to think it's not a crossing and just go straight over. <laughs> that was a bit of a bit of a jump there <laughs> took me by surprise came down here the other day from on the way home from work and uh, <laughs> the horses in this field on the right had um, managed to get out and escape um, I have no idea how they managed to get out and escape but they did and they were two of them were running up this road um, so I pulled over in my in my work van and uh, blocked the road and oh, I did not see that. Yeah, we pulled over, blocked the road so no one could get through, and we uh, pushed, pushed, pushed. We forced, forced. I don't know. We made the horses go back the other way, the way they came. But I knew exactly what field that they'd come out from to see them uh, in that field most days. So uh, I knew exactly where they'd come from. What is wrong with fly tippers, man? There's no need for that. At all. Well, this is going to be an interesting junction for me to come out of. It's always normally quite busy, so... Oh. I 
I'm not sure why it does that. It just like stops in neutral. It's not the first time it's happened to me and it won't be the last, I can assure you. It's just very frustrating. I felt that like that was a... Let's go down here. That was a very last minute decision, I do apologise. Right guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you have enjoyed this video of me pottering around, talking again, uh, please make sure you leave a like rating and uh, make sure you subscribe because I've noticed there's been quite a few people subscribe from uh, these types of videos. Um, so someone's obviously, everyone's obviously enjoying it. Um, so if you are enjoying it, please uh, make sure you subscribe because I really do appreciate it. I, uh, like I said before, it makes me a little bit more motivated to get out and make more videos. Um, so if you have enjoyed, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe, drop us a comment as well. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.